Testing, yeah, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, interview time. <laughs> Damn. <gasps> Put sugar. Cut sugar. Oh, that's racist. There's a black person over there. Oh. <laughs> My work station. All right, that's a big bitch. Let's take this off. Bam. All right, so that is our supercharger blower. So you know what that means, guys. This marks the first day of the supercharger kit installed. We're gonna have to take all of this to my mechanic's house because we're actually gonna be building the supercharger kit in his garage. Right before I pack this all up in my car, I actually wanna go over everything that I got because I did promise you guys that I was gonna do a breakdown of all the parts that I got for my supercharger kit. Because keep in mind, it's an upgraded kit, guys. This is not the base Stillen kit that you would get off the Stillen website. This will actually come with the base Stillen kit. This is actually upright. So what you guys usually see is this inlet over here would actually be around the top going this way to compensate for the pipe that would come from the intake manifold in. But because we got the intercooler here and that's gonna be on the bottom, we actually have to flip the assembly around and uh, that way we can have the inlet over here so that way we can fabricate a pipe to go down and into the intercooler. So this is the Stillen intake manifold that you guys usually see. This is actually one of the best intake manifolds you could get for your 3.7. The base Stillen kit is actually a water to air intercooler system. We have an air to air intercooler system. For the water to get in here, there was actually two ports right here that some hoses would be attached to so that way the water can travel. But now that this actually not being used, those two ports aren't necessary. So what they did, uh, this upgraded kit from Top Guns, they actually took this steel pallet and put this black painted pallet here so that way it matched the rest of the intake manifold. And it looks really clean, I like it. Besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. Besides that, we just really have some belts that go onto the car itself. Uh, we got some plug-in adapters, some gaskets for the intake manifold, some pulleys. Besides that, every single thing here has nothing to do with this base Stillen kit. So, let's run through this real quick. You've guys seen it before, but I'm going to show you guys again. Uh, this is actually the air-to-air -air intercooler by Treadstone. And this is the one that comes with the Top Guns kit. So, I'm not even really gonna open this box. All this really is, is just a bunch of piping. And this piping actually fits up to a 370Z supercharger kit. So let's show you guys this. This is our tile blow up valve. Yeah guys, we're gonna be making a lot of noise. These are ID1050 fuel injectors by Injector Dynamics. I also got plug and play adapters here so that way I don't have to splice anything. We got some NGK spark plugs. This is a four pack, this is a two pack. So we're gonna replace all the spark plugs, all the fluids, uh, all the oil. So what we did is we actually got a full fuel return kit with CJM fuel rails, micro glass braided fuel return lines, uh, Warboro 480 fuel pump, which I'm gonna show you guys in a second. This is our full fuel system. So it's not even really just a return line. This is a full fuel system upgrade. So uh, hopefully this car idles just fine. We got the fuel injectors, we got the fuel pump, we got the wires, we got the uh, pressure regulator, we got the fuel filter. Uh, this car should run efficiently. So that's, that's the plan here. That's why we did everything we did. For right now, we do have the oil cooler uh, for this VQ. Now, I'll open it a little bit just to show you guys what it looks like. This is an all gloss black oil cooler by Setrad. That seems to be it. We just went over the whole entire supercharger kit. So we have every single piece for the supercharger that we need in the car. We also got the blower, the intake manifold, and all the intercooler piping in the trunk. Damn, that looks good.
Shave that shit the f off. <laughs> Nice, Are you ready? Right. Why are you sweating? Put your car like right here so we could take. You brought everything, right? Everything. All right, so yeah, everything. Come on, your car's not even that low. <laughs> oh, I told him. All right, stay there so we can take everything out. I told him that everything that doesn't need to go back on the car would be off somewhere. <laughs> no, I want you. Why? It's like a player kid. Alright, start taking this shit out. I thought you yeah, got, we got some fucking food. food to do. I don't All even right. know. You lost something. I know. Alright, you pull up and then when I pull go up. get us breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, park. Put your e-brake on as hard as you can. So don't snap the cable because that's what I did. Oh, that's like, something I gotta do on my, my e-brake. <laughs> that's it. Close your windows. Take your key out. Hot <laughs> food. I'm gonna break his wheels loose. Impact motor on. Get to work. Oh, I haven't seen my car been touched in so long. This is a nice little view we got here. I can't wait to off all over it. I'm gonna order an eBay Choo Choo Schoolboy. Let me go through what we got on this engine so far. We already got the blower on. We got the belt to the blower assembly on. Air to air intercooler. Blow up valve. Setrab oil cooler. We got all the lines hooked up. And that's that's the really... Lines aren't hooked up yet. Are they not? Not to the back, right? Put your uh, sandwich adapter on or anything. Yeah, the no. lines are literally just hanging, hanging under the car for right now. So this is done. New belts on. Your pulleys are all now in the right places. Your inner cooler's mounted, your blow-up valve's mounted. The oil cooler's fully mounted. The lines are ran. They're just yeah, not Yeah, they just need to get connected to this. Yeah. Like, so if you look in the car, you've got uh, your fuel pump. That's the whole entire assembly's out. Yeah, I saw that. So that's your gas. And, I mean, that's really, really Yeah, it. that's really you know, it. We gotta wait. We can't really, we're not even gonna pull any of the fuel stuff yet. Because it's just going to make a huge mess. We're waiting until we get that crossover line so we can do that. And then we're thinking your fuel pressure regulator is probably going to go like right around here. You got to figure out how to mount this somewhere out of the way. There's still a little bit of work, but it's all it's all tedious work. Damn. <gasps> ka chigga ka chigga no, no, that's racist. There's black person up there. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the f***? My work station! For the last time! Got him. Put it on the trash bin. No, no! Where's the thing? Rome, you literally lost the thing. I love you, Rome. Two weeks later. You were learning and we just shut down shop, so it's not your fault. Your education is lacking. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Alright, interview time. <laughs> the logo, the, the, the logo thing. Uh. Ew, it's wet. Ew. Yeah, because Chad deep throated it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, because we're going to have to rewire that. Yeah, All right. <coughs> Interview. Uh, this is my you second. Break down what you're doing, Ramel? This second headlight because Breaking I shit. fucked up the first time. Okay, we'll come over to Mr. Devons over here. Chad. That's Mrs. Devons. Mrs. I'm Devons. I'm building a more fucking fuel pump. Mo power, baby. Mo power, baby. Tell them the fuel pump. What kind of fuel pump, Chad? Uh, it's a Walbro, and it's a I don't know. It's a you know. A, you know. I think it's a 480. Does that even exist? I don't think that's the size. Does anyone remember what size this fuel pump is? Is it, you said like a 450 or something. It's 450 but pumps 480. Oh, it's a 450 but the new 480 thing like pumps 480 or whatever. Down with pumps. I don't need to know this stuff to fix a car. Hey, wait, y'all. You just need the more to build it. Make sure that audio is working. But right now we got this supercharger kit pretty fucking figured out we got basically everything bolted on and mounted except for the uh air and uh the intake manifold 
everything else just kind of has to get fabricated. That's kind of why I'm putting on these headlights right now because we gotta, we need the headlights to be in position so that way we can actually get all this piping fabbed up and actually fitting into the supercharger blower and into the intake manifold and that way we don't have anything bumping each other or vibrating. Just doing it the right way. You know how it gets done. Yep. I'm modifying the <laughs> fuel pump housing for more power, baby. Um, let's go to the gas station and let's get some... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I allowed to say this on camera? No. I mean, it doesn't matter. You just probably shouldn't put it in your video. Damn it. Marijuana. <laughs> We're gonna go to the animal store, the exotic pet animal store. House. Some, animal get house. Some to the animal house. Animal house. Get some married iguanas. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is a word. Which one oh, you want? Shit, right? I don't care. Uh, 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 uh. What is Look. that weird spray? It's a. Oh, I want a blue spice one. Spice I want a blue one. Look, yeah, that's mine. Cinnamon. Yeah, that's mine. It's so weird. Gonna, I don't understand. Open it. I'm gonna shake it up and open it in What's my bucket. What's the bundle. point? It's it's cinnamon. Cinnamon. Why? Why do we have to get so bold? It'd be like wait. I want a blue one. No. Light blue. Oh, I don't like that flavor. Instead of pointing straight this way. What? This would be. Cool. All right. Let's just break it down right now. Okay. So yeah, the only differences between this kit. I mean, besides obviously the big air-to-air -air intercooler, besides this kit and the base kit, um, is gonna be the way this assembly is set up. So the blower is actually flipped upside down to compensate for the air-to-air -air piping that's gonna be down here. Because what we're gonna try and do is fab up a pipe, like I said, going from here. Here you can show them. With it's just gonna be basically extended a couple of inches. Is all that's gonna happen with this side. Whoa, so this, goes... this is the wrong size. So it's gonna be extended. There's gonna be a coupler, a 90 degree coupler here. And then this pipe's gonna have to be extended a couple of inches. So that's basically this side complete. And, and then, then you got your blow off valve right here that we still have to run the vacuum reference for. Now, as far as the passenger side, uh, this is actually a 370Z uh, intake pipe. Or close to it. Yeah, so it's gonna be right below Damn, right next to the wheel well. We we can't put the fender liner back in, can nope. we? No? It's not gonna fit quite right because this is in a completely different yeah. car than that's meant for. So yeah. it doesn't quite line up where it needs to. Once we have like the intake on with the throttle bodies, we'll put the couplers on there and then that'll give them an idea of where they need to go from there down to there. Down here, into here. Honey. Yeah. That's really all that's different from the kit. I mean, the... Air intake too, like like I said, the, has that little You can show them on the plate. intake manifold that's up there where... Get this shot. Boom. And look, this is the black plate I was talking about. Usually on the uh, Dylan base kits, you'll have two little inlets here for water hoses to go through. That way it can be cooled through the air that goes in here. But since we're not using the water to air kit, uh, this is actually not necessary to, to clean it up. What, did Top Guns do this or does Stillen sell the intercooler like no, this? No, no, they did that. Top Guns did this? And yeah, yeah they, they so they it. painted it, they made it look a lot cleaner, and nothing else is really different on no, there, right? Nothing else. That's all the same. That's really it. They kind of finished up this whole kit. And like, what, would you say less than four and a half hours you put this all on? What time did we get started? Like 12 one? No, it was... I didn't even come into your house until we 12. Ate, we yeah, ate literally. too, like so 12, what, like 30. 1 o'clock? It was probably like 12, 30, 1 o'clock before we actually got started. Yeah, so we did it at like 1 o'clock and you guys so got it done. it's been about four, yeah, yeah, four, four and a half, hours. five hours. Yeah. Wait, no, yeah, it's only like 5, 30, He's shit. Just, is he gonna put the fuel, hey, are you putting the fuel pump in? Or are you no, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, because I don't wanna right. rush it, I don't have to. We, right. We've made so much progress today that there's no point in rushing anything at this point. So what, is day one done? Yeah. Day one's done? We're just waiting for you to get that blunt day roll, dude. That's Let's all we're waiting for. Day, day one's waiting for you to get that blunt roll. This kid. Is that it, Ronnie? Right, huh? Is that, that it? Though. For what? The video? I'm gonna uh, seal that. Are you gonna end the video? We're done with the car, so yeah. Video. Hey, close out your video. All right, yeah. We're not no, doing but it. Yeah, so Day one is done, intercoolers mounted, oil coolers mounted, oh, wow. uh, blowers mounted, and it looks like we got the fuel pump inside the assembly, but we're not putting it in today. Day two, we should be working on the intake manifold, the fuel lines. Well, it all depends if we get that. We can't uh, do yeah. any of that stuff until we get that line. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to say that on camera what Z1 did, right? Fuck it. All right, so basically our problem right now is Z1 Motorsports. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, Z1! 
Our problem right now is Z1 Motorsports actually forgot. Well, I guess I got the wrong fuel kit. There's the SE and then their SE1E fuel kit. Jesus. <laughs> SE fuel kit comes with all the fuel regulators and uh, wires, except it does not come with the fuel rails. And the fuel rails actually come with the fuel rails and the crossover piping, and they actually forgot the crossover piping. So we're waiting on Z1 to actually send those in because we can't do nothing with the fuel system until those are in. But for right now, guys, we got everything pretty much mounted up, and uh, we're just gonna wait for day two. Hopefully, we hear back from Z1 Motorsports before we put all this in, and uh, we could get this done. We could head over to ARH, get this all fabbed up, and then uh, we could get it on the dyno hopefully within a week or two. So uh, that's gonna be it, guys. This is the 3.7 Red Sport Supercharger build, air to air upgraded supercharger kit. I'm Double R, this is my Q50, and I'm out.